Welcome to the Weekly Leader with your host, David Guerra. Alrighty, hello and welcome back to this week's episode of the Weekly Leader and I'm your host, David Guerra. You know the premise, one notable event from the past week, I break it down, add my leadership spin to it. Next, I take one leadership concept, break it down, and add my leadership spin to it as well. So, now with that out of the way, let's get this, uh, let's get this started. All right, so in the news, in the news, and this is uh, again on Saturday, the 8th of October, a bridge connecting Crimea, Crimea to Russia suffered major damage when an explosion occurred earlier today. Now, the Russians were quick to blame Ukraine because they've been fighting them for a while now, and for a bureaucracy such as Russia or any other large nation, uh, how can it be that they, can, they have the ability to almost immediately have investigators on the ground? Think about that and watch the video too. See, they're quick to blame, quick to set up an investigation, and the finger pointing begins. And whether Ukraine or Russia is to blame, it doesn't matter. What does matter is who do you believe or not believe? It's, it's that. And it's, so today's news topic deals with false flags or don't always believe what you're being fed, especially if they are spoon feeding it to you. See, first off, what is a, what is a false flag? Let's break that down. Merriam-Webster, the dictionary, defines it as a hostile or harmful action, such as an attack, that is designed to look like it was perpetrated by someone other than the person or group responsible for it, end quote. Current and future leaders, it is your responsibility to question everything that comes your way, no matter what direction it comes from. <clears throat> even if it comes from the top down. If there are attempts by outsiders to misguide, mislead, or misdirect you, your team, your organization, or relationships, you have to deal with that immediately. Folks, that's the time to take that deeper dive. See, question that, sh that which seems a bit off, especially when the issue or concern is of a deep-rooted personal nature, that it is best to get to the truth sooner rather than later. See, otherwise, failing to do that, you will fall for anything anyone says to you. Truth or not, fact or ruse, spot on or deliberately misleading, anything that is presented to you that appears to be too good to be true definitely requires looking more into it. Now, any great leader will not accept any high value information at face value especially if it is something you want to hear or it is just plain old juicy gossip. See, do, you, do what you can to either confirm or deny what is being presented to you. See, now remember, some human beings, some human beings excel at creating drama and in doing so, some will stop at almost nothing to ensure that others believe the nonsense spewing from their mouth. Folks, the sad thing here is that because there are so many gullible people in the world, they will completely and without hesitation or reservation believe the nonsense being spoon fed to them. See, they will accept it as the truth without ever taking a moment to validate what is being said to them. So attention, current and future leaders, never accept anything just because someone said it. Never accept the words spoken by someone with an ax to grind or nothing to lose. Those are the worst ones. So always question the motive of the messenger. Always verify by going to the source. And if you could not go to the source, then you are not a leader. If you're not prepared to do that, you are not a leader. Plain and simple, you're just a gossip monger. See, the faster you get to the truth, the sooner you will realize who you can trust to tell you the truth, and even sooner you will know who is setting you up for failure by getting you to believe the false flags they keep raising. Now let's take a look at this, this week's leadership concept. This week we revisit a concept that needs to be revisited from time to time, and I am talking about great teams, great leaders, great individuals leading by example, leading by example. Folks, and I'm not going to pull any punches. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. And if your sensitive ears cannot hear the words that I have, that I've got to say, that, I, that have to be said, then face it, you're not cut out to be a leader. Hell, you're not even cut out to be a manager. 
It's true. See, being a leader, being a manager means that everything you do, others are watching you do that. They watch you, they watch your every move. Sure, they listen to you, but mostly they watch you. See, remember the uh, that old adage, um, they don't watch what you say, they watch what you do. Watching you is why leading by example is so very important. See, when you lead by example, that means you're walking your talk. You're doing what you say, and people see that. People see that you are doing what you want them to do, because you're doing it first. And to be a great leader, there are a couple of rules when it comes to leading by example. Rule number one, it's real simple. They're all real simple. Either you are leading by example or you are not leading by example. There is no middle ground. Number two, you are leading by example 100% of the time or 0% of the time. There is no part time. Number three, leading by example has nothing to do with do as I say, not as I do. Number four, leading by example is only a do as I do, nothing else. Number five, be prepared to be scrutinized by those naysayers and those that are either jealous or envious of you and your ability to lead by example. See, leading by example is the one thing that all great leaders do in their professional and personal lives. Failing to lead by example is the fast track to losing followers or having a hard time finding followers. See, if you find yourself having a hard time understanding that by leading by example is the only way to become a leader that others want to follow, hey, it's okay. You will come to a point in your life when you realize that leading by example is where greatness begins. And of course, the sooner you realize this fact, well, the sooner you'll be on track. However, however, for those individuals that are hell bent on the do as I say attitude, well, for them, it may be too late. Sure, they can try to change, but the damage is already done. See, however, those not already sit in their bad habits have the opportunity to change. The trick here is that change, that change, has to be permanent and not change for the sake of changing because they feel a band-aid is all that's needed and soon they go back to their old ways. No, it's got to be permanent change, folks. Yep, see, some people just can't help themselves. They really cannot help themselves. They're going to go back to their old ways, plain and simple. It's easy. Start and keep leading by example. That's, that's it. And on that note, I want to thank you for watching this week's episode of The Weekly Leader, and I invite you to come back next week for another episode. And hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all of that. Do it. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great week.